Hey, this is Alex Power with My Creative Cinema. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you best export settings for YouTube in Premiere Pro CC. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back in just a moment. On this channel, I record different reviews and tutorials for beginner filmmakers just like you. So if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing that you won't miss any of the future episodes that I release on a regular basis. Let's get straight into the tutorial. Okay, you're inside the Premiere Pro right now and you've done editing your video. Now you want to render it. What you do and you go to File, Export, Media, and you are making sure it's scale to fit here okay the first step second step you check the format it's always h264 h264 that's the format now you go to there's all they have all different options now uh, by default it goes much source but we, we're gonna go down this list of different presets and we will get right into the youtube preset 1080p HD if you want to render 4k there's a 4k preset for YouTube but today we're gonna do the 1080 okay we got that preset there but we want to tweak it somehow change it a little bit um, make sure the audio and video checked you know uh, that's a basic stuff here will tell you where it is going it's going on my desktop in my case you can do this and go ahead and set this to a separate folder now um, it's obviously 920 by 1080 you can change this if you'd like but um, I don't recommend doing that and also I, I'm changing this to 30 frames per second from 29 now um, it's always progressive it's a square pixel um, aspect square pixel it's NTC if you're in North America and PAL if you're in Europe or Asia. Now, always uh, profile is high. Level, I'd like to bump it to 5.0 to make it more quality. And it jumps to 59 frames per second. Now we change it back to 30 frames per second. Here, uh, we go down and make sure you check this render at maximum depth that would give you more quality for your video okay check this in next thing will be um, it's always on one pass here bitrate encoding it's on one pass and the target bitrate and maximum bitrate I like to raise it to around 30 yeah somewhere around 30 30 is a good one it will increase the size of the video but it definitely it will give you more quality next thing use maximum render quality you check this one this particular preset you can save youtube let's save it as youtube 1080p hd 30 frames per second 30 frames per second and press ok you'll be able to find your presets right here right on top that's pretty easy keep in mind that the file it's pretty big for this one so um, if you just creating some informational video does not have to be a higher quality you can always reduce the bit rate to lower around 15 16 that will keep the file smaller and it will ensure you have a faster upload but if you want to upload something that is higher quality in this case this is wedding video i want it to be highest quality as possible for my customers to see it that way i'm keeping this at the higher bit rates but by lowering bit rates around 15 16 you can reduce the size of the file that can be helpful for certain videos all right that would be it for today see you next time thanks for watching let me know in the comments below which export settings do you use for your youtube video in premiere pro cc and i will see you guys next time